Hello everyone. Um, just going to make a little video here on do-it-yourself solar panels. Um, I've heard a few things online about do-it-yourself solar panels, um, how you shouldn't do it and you're better off, you know, if you're making a serious system to uh, um, go ahead and, and buy, you know, factory panels, which I pretty much agree with. Um, I made these, um, all these solar panels. They're uh, 41 inch by 41 inch, um, 12 volt, which they pretty much, if you read them with a multimeter, they put out around 20 in full sun, 20 volts, at about average 7, 8 amps. A lot of it depends on the cells that you choose. Um, these cells right here, these um, six by six cells um, are your best bet. The square ones, I, I don't know the exact name. They're poly, polycrystalline though, they're not monocrystalline. Um, that's what you want to get. They put out the best. And I've tested a few like these monos here. This panel right here puts out, there's 36 cells in here. It puts out, um, oh, I'd say almost full amp less. I got two of these. There's one down there too. And uh, two of these, and I mean there's different grades of these monos, but for the most part, <laughs> in the same price range, the, the square polys put out uh, about a full amp more. And, you know, so I'm getting in full sun seven amps plus, you know, out of these. I got 12 panels here. So, on my bank of eight cells, you know, they do pretty good. And these have been on the on the roof now. Um, oh, I had to have to look. I didn't prepare here for this video too much, but they've been on the roof for a couple of months, you know, in full sun. And I came up here, you know, to inspect, which I haven't done since I did it because it's kind of a high roof. And I have to get the big ladder out to get up here. Um, but all the panels are still working. You know, I have no leaks. Um, and, uh, you know, there's just... It's, it's all in your design of your panels. This one right here I made out of the half cells. Only made one of them. There's 72 cells in there to put out basically the same thing as the 36 6x6. Six six, these 3x6s is here. Um, same deal um, as the Monos. This panel puts out almost a full amp less <coughs> than these 36 polycrystalline cells. Um, and now the consideration now, if, if you're building a pretty serious system, like I did, um, with 12 panels, an 8 cell bank, you know, I mean you're trying to provide power for your house, you're not just having a little project for your shed, you know, where you want to, um, you know, power a, a, night, a night light, you know, type of deal. If you're building a serious system, um, the things to consider when you're going to to purchase you know panels or you're trying to decide whether to make them yourself um, because there's a lot of commercials out there oh you know you can buy uh, um, you can do it yourself you know for two hundred dollars and this and that and they make it sound so good and so easy for one thing it's not there ain't nothing easy about making a solar panel it's it's tedious work it's really hard and it, it's time consuming and Another thing is you have to be pretty well educated and versed in how in electronics and in, you know electrical because you need to understand about how wire sizes, solder connections, you know you need to fully comprehend and understand electrical if you want a performance panel. Just slapping it together, not really understanding how things affect things you're going to wind up with something that ain't going to perform very good. And the main consideration now is the construction quality. If you're making do-it-yourself. And there is correct ways of doing things, you know. Um, um, the, uh, the correct way to do-it-yourself at home would be to buy quarter-inch thick, you know, heat-treated glass, which is strong, it would withstand hail. And, uh, then use the uh, the sill guard 
you know, and seal your cells in. And if you use the proper wiring and tabbing wire, you know, and everything, and you got a proper frame and everything, you can turn out a pretty high quality panel. The problem with that is, with that approach, is it kind of defeats the purpose. Um, I can, in my opinion, I mean, I did a lot of thinking about this before I got started. And, and my position is, I don't have, I never, I, I'm pretty poor, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty much semi-retired and I don't have a lot of money to just throw around like that on, on solar panels. So, I mean, a good solar panel and, and it puts out about like this one does right here. You know, you're in the $800 range. These, these panels are 150, 160 watts. That's what I got them figured out. So, say, say you want to buy a 180 watt panel in that range. You're in the $800 range if you're going to buy them factory. $800. Okay. So, you want to do it yourself and save money. Okay. And, but you want to do them right so they last and they're proper so you buy the heat treated glass a big piece <laughs> like this or, or larger for a 180 watt panel would be um, you know you're in the $200 range if you got to try to buy it you know I think close to $200 for one piece of glass there then you're probably into a hundred dollars close to it time you get the hardware and everything <clears throat> and then the tooling and the, the blades and whatever figure it all in probably a hundred dollars for the frame so we're up to 300 then the seal guard you're probably looking for a big panel you know it, I'm guessing I mean you, pro you probably could find a deal on it but at least a hundred dollars maybe 200 right so let's just figure on the high side because things are always seems like more expensive than you figure so 200 for that <clears throat> so let's see 200 200 100 we're up to 500 now let's figure in uh, you know the, the the cells themselves which if you buy a good good grade by the right cells each panel you know even even for 36 cells you know it, you're probably the time you get the tabbing wire and everything your solder and you figure everything in you know you're probably close to $200 for that so what are we at now 700 bucks you know now I'm the type of person that <laughs> I'm confident enough in my abilities that I would try, probably try to save that hundred bucks, but for the time involved, your time involved, I mean, you, probably your best option is to buy a factory panel. Now, just to sum this up now, the way I did it now <laughs> is I saved a buck, and you have to watch how you construct panels at home. That that's one of your considerations if you're um, if you want your panels to last. Um, and you don't want to create a hazard either. Um, the big problem that you see online with people building solar panels is that they're using stuff like wood, plastic, and stuff like that. These panels get red hot. They seriously get hot on the sun, out in the sun. And it'll break down most stuff. It could even create a fire hazard on your roof. Um, and pretty much if you use wood or plastic it's going to break down in, in short order and it, it will just wind up the air will wind up penetrating it you'll get bugs they'll fog up and I, like I said I came up here and I inspected my method now and that's why I'm putting this video out because I think I got a system that is at least gonna work pretty good for a while um, and the way I did it now is I used two pieces of glass. I mean, I documented it in my other videos um, how I put it together. But as you can see, I mean, things are looking pretty good. Um, pretty good. Um, and it's a double pane system. I use thin glass, and that's the main drawback to my system. Um, it's It's got glass on the front, and then it's sandwiched with glass um, from the back. And uh, it's, it's pretty cheap glass. Um, I got five sheets of this 40, I think it's yeah, 40 by 40 glass, which fits 36 cells perfectly. <laughs> you know, five sheets of it for uh, at doitbest.com for, I think it was 120. And the guy at Do It Best, it, they pretty much ship to the, the store that's closest to you. They ship pretty much all over. But it was, they ship to my local hardware store. 
the guy at the hardware store told me you could get it for 80 bucks. So for 80 bucks, you pretty much got enough to do two and a half panels for 80 bucks. Big savings. No sill guard involved. I use silicon in between to like laminate the glass together. And the trick is, don't get the silicone on the cells. Don't put your silicone all over. Don't put it on the cells. Put it one way. It's all documented in my other videos. If you want to check it out, this method works. You can see my panels are doing fine. They're sealed. So far, I mean, I could do another update here in a year. And we'll see if they're still doing great. But I've had no failures. Um... and uh, things are looking good. This is one of my first ones that I did when I was still learning, still experimenting with how to do this. And you can see, I don't know how clearly you can see it, but you can see where I got the silicon actually on the cells. See that? See how it kind of mucked them up? <laughs> you don't want silicon all over the place. And you want that silicon to be able to cure inside before you completely seal it around the edge. But as I said, it's all documented. I put each one of these panels out for an estimated 170 bucks a piece. Like I said, they're 150, 160 watts. So, it's like a buck a watt, right? <laughs> I don't think that's too bad. <clears throat> Not too bad at all. And I'm highly satisfied. They really put out good. I mean, it keeps my 8-cell bank with these 12 panels. It, it'll pump it right up in full sun. And with the 12 panels, there's enough there to uh, to keep the bank topped or floated, even in a cloudy, like it is right now, where it's cloudy. I could float my bank right now with them, with them all on. So yeah. Oh, so this is my video. I, I hope it answered some of your questions. You people are thinking about making panels. You can do it. If you want to save money, I have. I think a method here that you might want to consider. I'm not saying, you know, I'm the greatest or anything like that. I'm just saying, don't waste your time and money. Um, they need to be put together in a manner that is electrically sound, and they need to be put it together in a manner that is sealed and won't deteriorate. And to really do it proper, like I said, it's just it's really going to be not very cost effective. Be better just to buy them with a warranty, you know, pay the extra 100 or 100 or 200 or whatever you got to pay per panel. Okay, so y'all have a great day and I'm going to do more videos of testing my system. I actually just got my uh, my second inverter. And uh, I'm working on a few other things. I want to get a uh, 120 volt small hot water heater and uh, there's the there was one other thing I wanted to get other things I want to get like a induction hot plate and uh, a Makita battery powered vacuum um, and I want to get an evaporative cooler a nice big one you know for AC to replace the AC so I'm working on getting my system completed to where I'm really I'm not afraid to just turn that main switch off, the main circuit breaker, and just live on it. Yep, you can see my two inverters there. Got one there, one down there. Nothing's on right now. I'm not off grid at the moment. There's my water system. But yeah, I'm I'm just really happy so far. Really satisfied with the system. It's just great. And uh, y'all have a great day. I'm rambling.